My friends, kind of a family day. I came out here with the quad and my children and my wife. We wiggled down here to this beaver house. I wanted to check things out. This is a new one I found last winter. I ended up catching a couple mink here, but I see it's thawed out enough that the beaver are out and about. There's my little ones, there's Trapper and Ava, my wife Layla. So um, I came here more to check things out, but I did bring two traps along. So I'm gonna get them set. I actually found spots where I could set three, but I guess today I'll just set two. Um, here's a spot where they actually dug out here after the snow was kind of gone. The beaver are undermined from the water there and they dug out. But it doesn't look like they're really using it that much there. But up here they are, they are using it here quite a bit. It's quite a bit of activity. You can see where they got the ground undermined. And um, this is where they were going under. And they dug that out there. This is pretty deep and there's all this fresh green chewings here. This is what they're eating in the spring here now. These cattail roots and stuff. So I'm going to sink one 330 in there. And um, I've got a good solid birch tree. I'm going to tie it off to that because I don't need no bear coming around and if I catch a beaver pulling it out of there and taking off with my trap. So I'm going to put one there and I found a spot over there a run by the house I'm gonna put one there so anyways we'll get that set up all right guys we got one sunk down in there pretty deep run there I got you can't even see any of the trap but it's sitting there nicely and I got it tethered off to this bigger birch tree now let's go over there. I'll show you where I'm going to put the other one. And they've done quite a bit of work here last fall. Cutting trees. And you'll see. Okay. Where did I find this? Oh, well, there's a run there. If I bring a trap tomorrow, I'm going to put it right in there beside that sapling. Right there. But today, I'm going to set this other belial over here. They've been coming up here. And, um... Right here beside this little stick. They got a run cut in right in there and they've been going under the ground a little bit there and then they're coming out here and goofing around so I'm just gonna set one there in this run maybe even right there get a trap in there guys I think there though what I'll do is I'll put a stick across the top so they got a duck just since it's open water, I don't want them trying to swim over top of it, so. All right, guys, I'll show you the set when it's finished. All right, there we go. This runs a little bit shallower, but if they want to get through here, they're going to duck it, so. There's the trap. And I hear kids crying. I got it tied off to this pole. What's wrong, Trapper? What's wrong? Come on. We've got the trap set. We're going to go home now. All right, guys. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Well, folks, I was just quadding along this trail, going out to the beaver house, and look at what I found. It's not even chewed nice fresh from this year. Got a little cat.
character. If it wasn't for that long brow tine, I'd say it almost looked like a muley, muley shed, but we don't really have too many of them here. It's pretty much all white tail. Just the last few years I've seen two or three mule deer doe hanging around. But that is a pretty nice antler, guys. I'd have to look around, see if I can find the other one. All right, guys, it's the next day. I don't have my family with me today, but came out and I'm gonna check these traps. I brought a couple more in case I feel so inclined to set them. Here on this hill, there's a old, old coyote den. It's not being used anymore, but the skunks and mink use it. A couple winters ago, I caught a big skunk in one of these. But anyways, let's go check these sets. We'll check this one first where they where they undermined the bank and dug that out. I had it cabled off there. Don't see anything down there, but this was quite a deep run. Let's grab this wire and oh the trap is snapped, guys. Oh, there's some fur in there. There is a beaver. Oh, not a big one though. Just a youngster. Just a yearling. I get out of the shadow here. Anyways, yeah, there's one catch, guys. This is just a yearling. I would just soon not keep or catch them. I would like to catch the big old ones and and um, leave these ones alone. But it is what it is. Let's go check the other one. Go check the other one. I love trapping beaver. Oh, heck, I love I love trapping anything, but I got a fever, and the only prescription is more beaver. So hopefully we catch some more. <laughs> I'll go check this one out. Like I said, they did do quite a bit of work in here last fall. If I set another one today, I think I'm going to put one in that run there. But let's go check this one. Maybe if I caught two, maybe I don't want to set anymore. I'll just use them two because I'm one of them guys where two beaver a day is plenty for me. I'm an old guy. Beaver are a lot of work. So and with the cows, calving the cows, I'm happy with two a day. But let's see here. If this one made a catch. Yeah, I think this one's got a beaver too, guys. I was pretty sure this one would. This one was a great spot. And then I had that duck under stick there. Just a great spot. But I wasn't so sure if that other one would catch right away. I I mean, I figured it would catch or I wouldn't have set it there, but I didn't know if it was going to be a, a first day catch or not. Well, let's pull this one up, guys. See what we got here. Another little guy. Another little guy. Two yearlings, so that's too bad. I was hoping for the big ones. 
but um, I know there's big ones in here, so I am going to reset this, guys. And um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'll add a third one there. I'll maybe just reset. Ah, huh, maybe I will add a third one. What the heck? And um, you know, I don't know. I'm not sure how many beaver are in here. Um, obviously, if there's some yearlings, they had had a litter last spring. I thought if I could catch the two old ones, I was hoping to maybe just take four out and then leave the rest. But I hope I catch those two old ones. Leave these young ones. Leave the house for the young ones. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to shut you off. I'm going to get these beaver out of here and um, reset these. Well, here we go. Well, I like setting houses like this that you can just walk out there in your muck boots. Um, so I got those first two reset, one's there, and the other one's over there, and I did set a trap here at this one. This should be a good spot too. I'm sure there'll be a beaver in there tomorrow. So anyways, guys, that's three traps set here. Two beaver out of that house so far. Like I said, I'm not sure how many would be in there. I guess there should be the two old ones and a litter of yearlings. And um, I was hoping that if I could have caught the two old ones, maybe a couple younger ones, then I would have left it. I would have maybe, my plan was to maybe take four out of there and leave the rest. So I suppose that's still what I'll do, whether I catch the big ones or not. I will take four out of that house. I got that other house back further there I'll kind of right on the north side and I got some traps set there but there's I think one big beaver in there in that house and he is crafty and now I think I educated him because I made a bait set with a 330 and he snapped it and now he um, doesn't seem to want to come anywhere near it so not sure if I'll be able to trap him or if I'll just have to maybe sit there and see him and try and shoot him. I don't know. He's a big one, that one. But anyways, guys, till next time, I want to thank you all for watching. We'll see you down the trail.